Good day everyone, Matt here from Mile Marker 66 Barbecue, and today we're going to be cooking some beef short ribs. Okay, we've got a nice looking rack of beef short ribs here. These are just picked up at a local butchery. You can see there they've got a nice bit of marbling, which is great. That's exactly what we're after. So let's give them a little trim up and get them ready to go. All I'm doing to trim today is just taking the fat cap off the top. We've got Anzac Day coming up, so with that in mind, we're going to be seasoning, seasoning our short ribs with the Heavenly Hell Digger's Dust. Let's get this on. Today we're going to be cooking on the Octopit Multi-Q. We've got our baffle plate in, so we're going to be cooking indirect. Let's get these right in the middle here. All right, we've had the short ribs on for about three and a half hours. We've been rolling around about 300 Fahrenheit. So let's open this up and see how they're looking. Look at that, great color. You can see they've popped up quite a bit. They pop up a little higher when you cook them like this. And they've pulled back off the bone quite a lot too, which if you've cooked short ribs before, you'll be familiar with. But they look really good. Let's give them a probe. Oh yeah, that's probing beautifully tender. Sitting around 211, 212. That's good, that's exactly where we want them. Let's get them off. All right, these look really good. They smell amazing, they've got a great color on them. Let's give it a slice and see how they look. All right, let's go straight down the middle. All right, let's have a look at one of these. Look at that, beautiful, tender. You got that really nice smoke ring there. You can see the meat, beautiful, tender and juicy. These are gonna be delicious. All right, there we go. Some nice, beautiful short ribs, and it really is as easy as that. Get that fat cap off the top, get some nice beef rub onto it, whatever your favorite beef rub is. Even salt and pepper will work perfect on these. Get them on the barbecue, you're cooking indirect. Cook them away until they're probing absolutely tender, and then take them off and you're good to go. As always, we hope you guys picked something up today. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, and we'll see you next time.